Hi, uh, if you're watching this before you go to your first Wyndham timeshare sales thing, good for you because I went on a whim. So I didn't have any time to look online to see what people were saying about Wyndham before we bought our Wyndham timeshare. But first of all, I would like to say that I am enjoying the actual timeshare. There are just a ton of things that I wish I would have known ahead of time so that I wasn't so disappointed the first few months afterward. We bought our timeshare in October of 2021 and it is now July of 2022, just for reference. So um, the way we ended up buying, my husband actually planned it because we wanted a free stay, place to stay in Daytona. And so, you know, we went and our teenagers were like, be strong and don't lie and all this, but they hit us right at the right time because we had inherited uh, a small sum of money that I wanted to buy an Airbnb with, um, which would have been better financially for sure because no matter what they say, you are not an owner, you are a customer. And I'll tell you why later. But um, just for reference, we bought 300,000 points and currently this year, our maintenance fees are 190 dollars a month so before you go if you're trying to figure out what the maintenance fees might be um, it might give you some idea I really don't know how they figure that out but um, right so the first thing if you are considering buying you need to know how many points you're gonna need um, you can go on the Wyndham Club website without being an owner and look through the resorts and see the points. Um, I think that 300,000 may have been a little high for us because now I feel pressure to spend all those points and go on all these vacations and um, no matter what you do, you're still going to have to spend money on the vacation itself. And also when they tell you what the maintenance fees are going to be, do that times 12 and tell yourself, is that worth it? Because ours are 2880 a year. For 2880 a year, that's pretty nice uh, place that I could rent. Um, so I didn't think about, that's one thing I did not think about when we were sitting in front of them, 2880 a year just for hotel rooms. Um, and my husband stretched, they'll ask you a bunch of questions uh, how much do you spend on vacationing? And he told him like $6,000. Well, that was really, for us, that was a out of the norm year. But they'll take whatever you say and show you how you're gonna save money by doing Wyndham. So think before you speak on that one. Um, first of all, just to get down to the nitty gritty, uh, the first part of this is going to be things I wish I knew before I signed and then I'll go on to things that I've learned since I signed. So maybe if you're not going to buy it, you can shut me off. So anyway, so one of the things that the salesperson said was that they gave us a bunch of bonus points and I'm assuming they do that for everybody to make you go up the level. So we bought in the 300,000 is at the URVIP there but the bronze which would mean you get 15% off of the points that you see online or wherever you're looking and then so for the first two years would be gold and we get 35% off and I was like whoa we're gonna go on so many vacations um, but what he didn't say is that that's only when you book 60 days ahead and they're gonna tell you oh right, you really need to book as far ahead as you can to get what you want and that's true um, that being said, um, out of the places we've gone, I've gone so far, I've gone to the Smoky Mountains, I've gone to Emerald Grand, Panama City, and Fairfield Bay, and I managed to get the 35% off on Smoky Mountains, Emerald Grand, and Fairfield Bay. No, no, I didn't get it on Emerald Grand. Or maybe I did. Oh, now I'm already, this is what I said I wasn't going to do. I wrote everything down. <laughs> but, um, the way you have to do it is just go ahead and book it at the full points and then when you get in within the 60 days and you go and look and see what they have available and then you have to book that one and cancel the old one don't be like me and think that well I've had this room so if I cancel it and book again real quick it'll be there 
thankfully I called ahead and they said, no, there's people on waiting lists. And I was like, huh, there's places I like to go. Why am I not on a waiting list? <laughs> but anyway, um, that is something that the salesperson did not tell me. And when you go to the thing, they're going to be fiercely writing everything down, a piece of paper, but they don't give you that piece of paper. Um, so the salesman, they just, my salesman flat out lied about a couple things. No, almost three things. And then he stretched or two or three, didn't sell me other things. So when they tell you about this big discount you're going to get, it's only 60 days before the date you check in. Um, the other thing he told us was that, oh, you're going to be able to rent this, these points out, you know, like put something on Travelocity or whatever and rent it out to other people and get your money back. He said, oh, you know what? We just bought more points and we spent $20,000. We made the $20,000 back already. And my husband's like, well, if we could just get half back what we sold, what we bought and because they gave us 500,000 bonus points, that's 800,000. He's like, you've got 1.2 million points to spend in the first two years. You could, man, you can rent these places out. And I was thinking, yeah, well, I don't know about all that, but I, I did believe it. Um, but I got a bad feeling in my stomach when we went in to do the signing, which is video recorded. He said, don't, don't. Oh, hmm, okay. <laughs> By then, you're like all excited about it, especially when you're like me. I have a husband that doesn't like to spend money. So when they say it's forced vacations, that's true. That is a benefit to me. It's forced vacations and places that we wouldn't ever spend that much money on. Most of the, the uh, resorts are nicer than what we had prior. Um, so... Do not believe them. And oh, here's the reason why. Supposedly because of COVID, um, you know, there was two years where if you're already a Wyndham owner, you couldn't go on vacation. So they're making it to where you cannot rent a room for a guest in certain times of the year. Well, in different ones, it's different times and it's all the good times when people would want to go there. So at first I was like, well, that's nice. Cause yeah, these people that have not been able to use their ownership for two years, they need, you know, they need to be able to go. But when I went to later one of the updates, <laughs> I'll talk to you about that. The lady said, oh, you know, there's these people, they have a million points and they're just always written them out to people and stuff. And I thought, and, and we're trying to put a stop to that. I'm like, well, if you pay for a million points, who cares how you use them? You know why they care? Because it's like a airplane that they've overbooked. They just keep selling and selling and selling. So they're hoping you don't use all your points. So now they found a way to help, help people not use all their points, which, you know, at the time I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that'll help me go on the vacations that I want. But when you think about it, it's just not fair. Whatever you paid for, that's the time you should be able to go. So they need to be buying more resorts or something. That's not right. Okay, pets. I almost got up and walked out when they were like, no pets at any resort. I just, I never was a pet person, but that much, but I have a standard poodle now that I really love. And I just, now I'm like all these weeks where she's left at home. Um, but the salesman said, don't worry, don't worry. RCI has places that you can bring your pet. I don't want to bring her every time, but just every now and then. So, um, but I looked, it's like next to nothing. So forget it. If you want to travel with your pet, spend the money that you would have spent at Wyndham and go buy an RV. Um, oh, this is a funny thing that happened at the original sales pitch because you know, he kept going on and on about how many members they have and how that's how, why the maintenance fees are so low because you're spreading on a lot of people. And I thought, I said, well, how hard is it to book a room then? Can you show me right now? Like book something on your phone. Oh, my, oh, my phone is just not working right now. Okay. 
He also told me that you could do surveys to pay your maintenance fees because they pay you or give you a discount on maintenance fees to do surveys. And he and his wife do it all the time. And don't worry, he gave me his phone number. He really did give me his phone number, but we'll tell you after the fact how to do that. My wife will call you and you know, if you do one, your husband does one a month, you know, y'all could take turns doing these surveys. Wife never called me. I haven't seen a single survey except for after I hang up the phone and I haven't got paid anything for that. So he, that was a lie. Um, oh, he also promised us, I can't even remember anymore, maybe seven or eight weeks of RCI at three, 349 for a two bedroom, which if you go on they call it uh, extra holidays. There's already a bunch out there like that for last minute stuff. But maybe if it weren't, I mean, it could be good. RCI really does have tons of locations. Um, but I haven't really ever found anything that was either available or the points were too. Usually they're just say not none available when I look. Um, okay. Um, Luckily for us, we did not finance it. Um, we just paid for it. And I heard that the finance fees were like 19% or something. I just say, if you can't pay it outright, I would not, not do it. You can just put your money in the bank and the interest rates are going up and uh, just have the flexibility of vacation wherever you want to go. Also, you're going to see uh, they're going to have a map up there and it'll have all these wonderful places you can go. But uh, one thing I found out, there's a Margaritaville in Pigeon Forge. I stayed in it. It was okay um, before all this. But when I was looking at all my different options there, because that's close to us, so we kind of, uh, probably go there at least twice every five years. Um, that one particular, my points weren't, weren't good enough for that. I did not have the right kind of membership. So if you are looking on the map and you see places that you're seriously interested in, ask that salesperson and make them tell you whether that's gonna be a part of your membership. I have a Wyndham Club Pass. I don't even know, they didn't really tell us there was different kinds at the meeting. I don't remember that at all. And I don't remember him asking me what type. I think the club pass is just what everybody gets these days, but I'm not so sure on that. But um, I know, you know, I can go to the world mark and when you look on the map there, it's gonna be a lot of them you'll probably like. Um, you have to pay $99 extra, but I haven't gone to one yet. I have some booked coming up, I haven't. But I talked to some other people who have a million points and they said, yeah, the world mark ones are really nice. So $99, I guess I, I don't really mind it. Um, okay. I think that's it for the pre. Oh, okay. Here, this is something that might help people who are already members and pre members. They're going to talk about you getting your Wyndham reward card that will give you Wyndham Reward Points. Now, Wyndham Rewards is a whole separate thing that you can just go online right now and sign up for that. Um, it's just like going to the hotels, you get points and that sort of thing. But then when you have the credit card too, then you get more points. Um, the credit card, the best thing for getting points on the credit card is the gas right now. You get five times the, the points. And if, if you go into the gas station and buy a $2 Coke, you get 10 points for that. So it's inside the gas station and outside. And with the price of gas right now, that's where most of our points are going. I've got all my teenagers, I'm like, use this card for gas. Um, so that's how our family, we have really gotten a lot of free nights off that so far um, because my son races motorcycles. This is too much information. But anyway, the Wyndham hotels around where the racetracks are, all these little cheap hotels where they stay anyway. We're talking like, Motel 6, Ramada, Days Inn, La Quinta is the best one, like I don't mind staying there. Um, it's, it's a lot of uh, no tell motels, okay, and um, so for the 15,000 points a night, you can stay in those. Uh, if it's something really nice, it's going to be 30,000, but I haven't found 
one that you know wanted to stay in for thirty thousand. But the deal is, most of these hotels, like I'm telling you, they're out in the country. My experience of where we needed them. Um, so they're only like 70, 80, usually less than a hundred dollars a night. But we did stay once, uh, I can't remember, something was going on or something. Anyway, and it was $200 a night and we got that for 15,000 points. So then that was really worth it. But you really have to be an accountant like me <laughs> to figure out sometimes whether it's worth it to use your Wyndham card for the points or is it more worth it to use a Discover card and get 3% back or 5% back or even 1% back? Sometimes it's a lot more worth it because like I said, the hotels that we're getting for these 15,000 points a night are pretty cheap. And I wish I would have written it down, but I kind of figured out about like how many points and the points aren't worth much. And they're gonna tell you that you can use them to, um, get airfare and I just tried to figure that out all the Wyndham Rewards website and I couldn't even figure out how to get airfare. But um, here's a big one. They're gonna tell you your Wyndham Club points can be transferred over to Wyndham Reward points and then you can use them for airfare and other hotels and all this stuff and to pay your maintenance fees. So. The, the, the uh, what you get is, that's horrible. Don't do it unless you're desperate. You're not going anywhere and you want to use it for your maintenance fees because this is what you get. It takes a thousand club points, only converts to 400 win and reward points. And they don't want to tell you that. If you try to ask them, they don't, they don't you have to call in. That's, that's my number one hint. Call Wyndham on the phone to get any questions answered because they are not going to answer any questions at these meetings. Maybe one, but not anything direct like this. So I just figured it out um, to get 15,000 reward points for one night at a no-tail motel. You have to use 37,500 of your Wyndham club points, which that's one night or two nights at some place much nicer. Um, and then if you wanted a 30,000 points of Wyndham reward points, which can now be used at Picasso, which has some nice places, they're gonna be more like your 30,000. Um, that would be 75,000 club points. So it's just a horrible uh, transfer rate or whatever. Also, let's see, I looked for the, oh, to get the money off of your uh, maintenance fees, it's you get fifty dollars off for ten thousand points. So yeah, I figured out my one ninety would be. I mean that's what the thirty seven five was for. Sorry y'all. Anyway, <laughs> ten thousand points. That's a lot of gas for fifty dollars, and then I would have had to do that. Three points. Oh yeah, that's what the thirty-seven five was for, or the thirty-eight. Dang, I didn't write it down. Oh wait, it's on the next page. This video is becoming bad. Okay. 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 So to pay my hundred and ninety dollar maintenance fee, I would have to give up thirty-eight thousand points. And if I bought got that thirty-eight thousand dollars in points. It would take $7,600 in gasoline. <laughs> I just divided it by five. So if you can buy $7,600 worth of gas a month, you can pay your maintenance fees. So forget that. Forget that you're going to get anything off your maintenance fees. Just reside yourself to the fact you're just going to pay them every month. All right. Uh, yeah, I said call the resort directly for any questions. Those people are nice and they will answer your question. And also, when you're researching where you want to go, um, the the Wyndham, it's, it's a terrible website, really. It has some pictures, but a lot of times you can't see everything. I don't know. It's frustrating. It constantly logs you out. So I suggest um, call the resort directly with any questions you have about that resort, what to do. And for me, my kids are like, where, where can they go fishing? Is that right there? And 
they're very nice and they all answer your questions. Also like TripAdvisor and places like that are good uh, sources for more pictures and more understanding of what's going on at each resort. Um, okay, so now if you're not going to buy it, you can turn the thing off. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go into my actual, after I bought it, this has been my um, experience um, with the updates. I had no idea that they were going to ask me to keep going to these sales pitches every time until I saw something about it online. I thought, ooh, and some people were saying they, they wouldn't hand them their keys unless they went. Well, I'm kind of a sucker. So I went to the one, the first three times I went. So I went Smoky Mountain. I went to that one. The guy mysteriously had a lot in common with me. And now I'm seeing other people on YouTube saying the same thing. I, I did, after the second or third one started, get suspicious that they were just making up. That they had stuff in common with me. I don't know. But this is the way it's going to go. You're going to come in. For me, they're always like, oh, here's some breakfast. You have breakfast. And they have like a presentation with everybody at once. Just a short video that makes you cry. About how oh, you got to spend time with your family and all this. Then they break you off into with your salesperson and they start asking they will ask you a million times what what is your uh vacation plans what's your perfect vacation i'm like i've already told alaska yeah <laughs> and um you know uh, so they they get all they're all so nice and then they get down to the nitty gritty and if you ask too many questions you can just see the, ugh, the bracing going on their face and um you can't be nice. You cannot be nice. I'm a nice person. I'm a Christian. I feel like I'm a nice person. But when I got to the third one, I was like, forget it. They're going on the timer. Now, these people staying in there for three hours, that's what will happen. If you don't say, I'm not buying anything today. I'm not buying any points today. I already have all the points I want. I'm out of here. Let me go. Please let me go. I mean, that's really how I've had to be. Um, yeah, the first one wasn't so bad. The second one at Emerald Grand, um, you know, I I could see, oh, that's the other thing. They'll tell you, oh, it's an update. We're going to, like, at Emerald Grand, they told me we're going to tell about the new place in Moab. Did I hear anything about that? No. Oh, we're going to answer your questions. We're going to go over your membership. We're going to help you. All oh, this junk. It's nothing but a sales pitch. Don't believe it. Um, you know, for me, I'm like, well, I can get a $150 gift card and that's a dinner for us or whatever. They at Panama City. Okay, and here's the deal. I went to Emerald Grand and we only stayed like, this was Easter weekend. We stayed there two or three nights. And then I realized I didn't have it booked for the Monday and Tuesday after. And I was lucky to get booked at Panama City for those two nights because I had screwed up. But I got my 35% off because it was two days after Easter and I guess most kids or on a different schedule than my kids were. Anyway, so I had literally just gone to the update at Emerald Grand, and then they talked me into it at Panama City. They offered me cruises and stuff, like four-day cruises, and I just didn't believe it. I was like, no, just give me a gift card or something, because I figure I, for one, before we bought this, tried like five times to get a cruise book during all this COVID crap, and so I just figured, there's not going to be any available. They're going to give me this, you know, thing. I'll have to take it by a certain day. And anyway, I don't know. I don't know if that would be real or not. Sounds great, though. Four people for four nights, I think it was. But anyway, I said no. I said no to extra points or extra, you know, weeks vacation because I already honestly don't have time to use the 300,000 points we got. So anyway, I said I would take the thing. On the Panama City one, I, I kind of already had it with these things. So they keep saying it. All you have to do is stay an hour. So the hour starts after they do a little group presentation. So if you really, it would probably be an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes. So I got my phone out, put the timer on an hour. <laughs> and my husband was with me for the first time. He hasn't been to this, so he doesn't get it. And so... Uh, they started talking through all the things. They went through the thing that they they didn't almost get me with in, in Tennessee. But the first time I saw it was in Tennessee where they say, well, okay, so if you just buy like 
so many more points. Of course, they don't say that. They don't say pi. Sorry. They say, we want to help you get the most out of your uh, points. We want to offset your cost as much as possible. So, of course, you're like, yeah, let's offset my cost as much as possible. And they keep just showing you how, okay, so if you had 50,000 more points, you could rent that for $2,000 and blah, 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 blah. And this is how, see, in 10 years, you will have paid that off and you will not have any maintenance fees anymore because it's going to pay for part of the maintenance fees every year and it's going to pay for, uh, but they don't ever say the cost. And finally I was like, so you're going to give me these points? Oh, oh no, no, no. You got to buy the points. Well, yeah, duh. But luckily, you know, I, I'm just not, I, I told it, I'm not spending any more money. I've got what I need, but, um, I'm, I'm filming. Please don't come in. Anyway, um, so I told them I wasn't buying anymore, but I thought about it after I left and I realized the maintenance fees are going to go up. So all that is just a bunch of bunk to try to sell you something. Anyway, um, so don't believe that or think about it. Uh, oh, so back to the, back to the Panama City. That was the worst one yet. So, you know, I was telling her no, and unfortunately my husband was fighting me and kind of like, he thought if he just sat there quietly that they would be quiet and let us go and finish the presentation. You don't get it that they're just going to, then they, you know, they'll just randomly ask him, so what do you want to do with your vacation? I'm like, I've already told you. I mean, they'll just keep on and keep on. Um, so... Finally, I said, look, I'm not buying anything. I'm ready to go. My hour's up. So then she brings in the heavy hitter, some dude. And um, then he starts, and he gets all up, and he starts telling me about, you know, switching my Wyndham Club points to Wyndham Rewards points. And I'm like, I've already checked into that, and that's a horrible deal, and I'm not going to do it. He's like, oh, really? So you already know it all? I'm like, yeah, I pretty much do know it all. I know enough. And he's like, oh. And he got so ticked off at me. And he's like, well, then tell me what the thing is. And I couldn't remember. I just remembered when I found out what it was. I said to myself, I would never do that unless I'm in desperate and like laid up in the bed for a year and I need some money or something. But um, so he got so mad. And I, I, my heart was racing. I was, and my husband's over there going, just, just, Jill, just be quiet. And I was like, oh no, I'm getting up and I'm leaving. And he's like, well, I understand you're mad, but uh, he just kept on and kept on. I just got up. I didn't say a word, and I walked out, and I walked to the front desk, and I said, my hour's up. I'd like my stuff. And she said, yeah, you're right. Your hour's up. And she gave me everything. So now that's what I'm going to do from now on. Don't feel like you have to be nice to these people. They are the shysty ones. I mean, I'm not saying I wasn't ugly until they got ugly with me and then I mean, you just have to be firm with them and say I'm ready to go I'm gonna get up now and um yeah I've heard that they won't give you your keys unless you say you'll go to the update so we'll see when I go I'm going to um Destin again um, this time to Majestic Sun I don't know if they have a sales crew there they probably do and I'm going to try not going to it because I'm only going to be there for three days and I don't need the stress. Because after the Panama City, it kind of ruined the rest of my two days there. But I do want to go back to that one. But I don't care what they say. I am not going to their update. And um, the people with a million points that I met at uh, Emerald Grand, they're like, don't go to the update things, whatever you do. And I'm thinking, I was like, yeah, but I mean, I do like that $150. <laughs> so if I can just learn to do it, uh, you know, and not get upset and just keep saying stuff and just get it. Now that I know I can just get up and leave, I'll put my timer on. I'll tell them up front, look, don't waste your breath. I'm not buying anything. We'll see how it goes. But I also want to see how it goes if I say, no, I'm not going to it. Um, because I'll say, do you want me to cause a scene right here in the lobby? That's, that's what I'm going to try out. I'll let y'all know if it works. But now, after I've told you all the bad stuff, if you know ahead of time what you're getting, I've heard people say they can't book anything. That's not true. I'm booking stuff. I am booking things. I mean, the main thing we needed, we needed, because we go to Bike Week, 
uh, at Daytona Beach Ocean Walk where we bought it. Um, that's the one we needed. Well, we couldn't get it. We bought it in October. We couldn't get it in the spring. We couldn't get it for fall for Biketoberfest. But I did get it spring 2023. So I think if you're smart and you, not to say that I'm smart, I, I get on that website a lot. I just keep digging and digging and digging and learning things. You just have to have the time put in. It's kind of fun exploring the resorts. Um, so I'm not saying it's a terrible deal. It, you know, like I said, when I called, that's how I found out I didn't get the 35% the, uh, off every time. It was only within 60 days. That's when I found out all the bad stuff was from the people on the phone. And I was like, you know, once I calm down, I still don't think it's a horrible deal or anything. And I think I will enjoy this membership, but I don't like being lied to. And I don't like this truth being stretched and people telling me, shh, don't. If they tell you, don't tell them when you go into the signing, you know, that's probably a lot. I mean, I, I had a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach sitting in that room. And I know I could have bought an Airbnb and I'd have a real investment but, oh well, I'm gonna make the most of it now. And I am enjoying the resorts. They are nice once you get past the front desk. So, see you around Wyndham. Bye.